My name is Adenike Daniel. I'm presenting a case study of um, Startup Amsterdam by Agile File Consulting Group. And um, the, the, the members of our team, as, as showing on the screen, I am the group leader, and um, Patel is the deputy leader. The others are our group member. Welcome to the presentation on business strategy of Startup. Amsterdam. This is our presentation outline, um, which borders on task one, task two, and task three. And um, I'll be starting the presentation while the others would complete it. What is a startup, meaning of startup? In, in recent years, budding entrepreneurs are more inclined towards starting their own business rather than working for somebody. And they want to develop a unique product or service for the market. These startups are young companies that are in their first stage of operations and their main aim is to develop something new which they feel can be a solution to deficiencies in existing products and they operate businesses that can scale up quite easily. About Startup Amsterdam. Startup Amsterdam is an action program that was started in the year 2015 and the objective is to nurture innovative startups by providing required capital and all required facilities. It was to bring public and private sectors together to support startups. The focus of um, Startup Amsterdam was on encouraging innovation, empowering entrepreneurs, fostering economic growth, helping local system, and to put Amsterdam, uh, Amsterdam startup on the global map of startup hubs. I'll be stepping here while my others, my other members continue with the presentation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Azharullah Hattabi. Now I'm going to describe operational strategy of Startup Amsterdam. There are five pillars of Startup Amsterdam strategy, which are talent and diversity to give practical and theoretical training with main focus on women and international talent to emerging technology to use more and artificial intelligence robots and other new technologies to improve process access to market to help entre entrepreneurs in entering new markets new markets uh, access to new net access to network created by local government or stimulate net network connections to encourage entrepreneurs to interact interact with community and make amsterdam as uh, as the premier premier destination for innovative businesses development and innovation districts to procure space by working with the city and form clusters of young businesses for meeting expansion needed need co-working spaces one of the services offered is co-working spaces where people can share ideas strategies and business advice for a startup in amsterdam Entrepreneurs have the option of getting small to large spaces according to specific need of any business. Startup communities and meetups. The startup ecosystem offers a wide variety of events and meetups, both online and in-person event workshops, conferences, and events organized free are free of cost. People can get support of <clears throat> of tech communities. Venture builders, the upcoming entrepreneurs or those having new business ideas are supported by venture builders. These venture venture com company, <coughs> companies provide not only startup resources and capital to innovate entrepreneurs, but also give basic advice to market entry or other practices coding academies and courses there is also an option to learn specific courses according to their needs for instance those who plan to start a career in programming or data science they can undergo training to expand their digital skills and knowledge knowledge of the specialized 
specialized programs offered include artificial intelligence, user experience, <coughs> user experience design, behavioral psychology, startup incubators and accelerators. The startup incubators and accelerators support entrepreneurs and young companies in planning, running, and accelerating a successful business strategy. They support in relevant areas, guide on securing funds and venture capital, provide workspace, offer access to sources and resources, and so on, both in person and online. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Mohamed Wadi Shinemdad and today I'm going to talk about uh, Startup Amsterdam. Um, uh, first of all, I'm starting with the weaknesses and strengths of that. Uh, if we talk about the weaknesses, uh, we can clearly see that uh, in terms of market research, the program Startup Amsterdam uh, primarily focuses on global market, thereby ignoring local market. And in terms of talent, availability of talented people is inadequate um, due to the quality of technology students and graduates, thereby leading uh, to high vacancies and high salary costs. And also in terms of entrepreneurship, uh, growth potential uh, Amsterdam startup Amsterdam ecosystem is insufficient due to a limited number of uh, experienced entrepreneurs. Uh, that means they've got shortage of experienced uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, now I'm talking about the strengths of startup Amsterdam. Um, uh, in terms of access to launching customers, Amsterdam is the best city for um, for the people uh, who want to expand their business activities in Europe and easily get a large number of customers. The startup get more uh, government support uh, if they offer a solution to the local government and they also get an opportunity to contact other European uh, startup uh, um, uh, cities and also in terms of access to talent, Amsterdam has an impressive pool of tech talented and best hiring conditions. Um, and uh, and now we are talking uh, about the uh, successful startup hubs. Uh, it's, um, it's there is an uh, article by Elon Dalian. He has clearly mentioned in 2020 um, 2020 uh, articles that it is described that any startup hub can be considered to be uh, successful. Um, uh, considered to be successful if it has a dedicated campus for innovators. Uh, so there is an existence of educational institution in, in the area, I mean in Amsterdam, uh, and uh, there is a conductive environment that promotes investors. It is also mentioned that there is no well uh, documented blueprint for the perfect startup hub, but a fundamental principle is that it should be close to the house of uh, innovators. Uh, and uh, my next slide. I'm going to talk about another article by, by Anisud Jaman uh, uh, in 2021. It is mentioned that the startup hubs can be successful if these hubs uh, uh, create a vibrant ecosystem for startup founders and also create an environment that encourages um, innovations, information sharing among entrepreneurs and attack venture capital investors. Uh, investors. Such hubs should be ca capable of boosting economy of particular region and encourage the next generations of uh, uh, entrepreneurs. And uh, and now I'm going to talk about the characteristics of successful startup hubs. Uh, 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 any, any city can be become successful uh, startup hub only when it possesses certain qualities such as low rents, good transport connections, uh, easy availability of basic inputs and skilled manpower, also low uh, wages, government support and so on. And, and uh, in an uh, uh, article by Rich uh, Macron uh, has mentioned five key characteristics um, for becoming successful um, uh, successful startup uh, hub which close connections with university that means uh, internationally reputed universities um, uh, uh, important uh, obtaining kind of people in right uh, number to fill the jobs and creative and low-cost lifestyle which means the creative culture and relatively low cost of living is another critical factors becoming uh, attractive start hub hub and also lower wages and leaner uh, operations and uh, in my last two uh, characteristics is that good transport links. That means cheap availability of all major modes of uh, transport and their uh, connectivity with the other parts of market is important for obtaining talented people from outside and selling the final product easily. And uh, the last one is uh, 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 championing uh, startup success. The government support is promoting startup hub is um, also very important because private investors uh, are ready to invest in those areas where the government takes uh, proactive action. So uh, that's all for the time being and my colleague will uh, talk about other slides as well. Thank you very much for listening to me. Moving on to talk about the benefits of startup hubs. 
the number of startup hubs like Amsterdam have continually been on, on the rise. In an article by Christoph Orwell Bash in 2015, he highlighted that startups change the mindset of entrepreneurs and it helps them in increasing the chances of growing businesses successfully. As the hubs provide an environment to like-minded people, there are chances of getting significant benefits, which we, we have highlighted over and over again by talking about their strengths. And um, due to the advantages of hubs, many hubs like FinTech of um, London and New York have been initiated on specific, they've been initiated on, on, on specific um, paths. And it also helps in future development and welfare of regions. Now we are moving on to talk about the competitive, competitive advantage from startup hubs. Any startup hub can have competitive advantage if it moves to the right startup hub. You know, the decision is a critical one for businesses these days because it helps them to be either ahead or behind of, of competitors. And available data shows that from between 2012 to 2014, the number of startups that either opened second office or moved their headquarters to another ecosystem rose by 8.4. It also found it has also been founded that nearly 29% of foreign employees work at startups within the top um, 20 ecosystems, and all those startups offer better technology, opportunity for innovation and entrepreneurship, proper infra infrastructure, and um, you know it helps all these um, new businesses, these startup businesses, to be more competitive. Thus, startup hub can be advantageous to new businesses. However, the competitive advantage is based on access to experienced mentors, competitors, venture capital, and like-minded individuals. There are large number of startups in the world which began with small-scale activity but grew you know, tremendously to very big heights after a few years. And some of these startups were founded by influential entrepreneurs like Mark Zuckerberg, um, Elon Musk, and um, Steve Jobs of this world. Thank you. My name is Deepak Bhuma. I'm explaining top global startup, startup hubs. The global report of 2021 on a startup ecosystem highlighted that the number of ecosystem expanded from 60 in uh, 2020, 18, 2018 to nearly 300 in 2021. The report also ranked top 40 global startup ecosystem. These ranks uh, have been uh, given on the basis of six uh, fa success factors, which, uh, which are performance, funding, connectedness, market reach, talent, and knowledge. These are the top uh, five startup hubs based on success factor. In the table, recommendation. innovation is the prerequisite for entrepreneurship, but innovation excellence depends on the support, support and facility provided to the funding innovator. The, the startup AWS Amsterdam is one of one such program which has in the naturally nurturing innovation according to the latest startup Geonab's report 2022 Amsterdam area has become one of the best ecosystems in the world because of the dedication to reducing environmental impact but there are some de deficiency which need to be improved the first uh, recommendation is if uh, in International innovators should be encouraged to start their business in apps that by providing them more support for obtaining finance for this one-stop agency can be created for taking care of their all their financial matter more and more second more and more domestic and international activities should be organized for improving market position of startup this will help the innovator to showcase their product to large number of business people which can be useful in a pro promoting their product
efforts to increase the number of those talented people who are in high demand the, the local institutions should focus more on courses like artificial intelligence blockchain robotics life science energy storage etc to fill the talent gap and reduce the shortage of talented manpower even students from abroad can encourage to study and work in abstract for the local government to develop some of type of the uh, some type of uh, relationship with the startup in a uh, incubator and accelerator to so that new innovators can get all necessary support for settling down and steady growth thank you